Hello and welcome to a new kind of video. One I haven't really done in a while and one I hope I will be doing more of in the future. Now what this is, hopefully a way for me to get back into doing art more often. I used to do it a bit more and, and I've basically stopped with the exception of a few painting videos but yeah. So what I'm going to start doing is actually duplicating some artwork from the D&D 5th edition monster manual. Starting with this, the Crawling Claw. Hopefully that's on screen. If not, I can edit it in later. <laughs> so the Crawling Claw is one of the first enemy types I used in a campaign I was running. So I'm going to go ahead and replicate this image as best I can. Just to hopefully help me get back into the flow of making art. I'll be doing this for the next few videos like this and eventually branch off into designing my own poses or whatever, but for now I'm just going to be replicating art as best I can and see how it turns out. So yeah, this is what I'll be doing today. Let's see how it goes. Crawling Claws are the severed hands of murderers animated by dark magic so that they can go on killing. Wizards and warlocks of the Dark Bent use crawling claws as extra hands in their labors. Magical Origins Through dark necromantic rituals, the life force of a murderer is bound to its severed hand, haunting and animating it. If a dead murderer's spirit already manifests as another undead creature, if the murderer is raised from death, or if the spirit has long passed on to another plane, the ritual fails. The ritual invoked to create a crawling claw works best with a hand recently severed from a murderer. To this end, ritualists and their servants frequent public executions to gain possession of suitable hands or make bargains with assassins and torturers. Creator's Control A crawling claw can't be turned, nor can it be controlled by spells that control undead. These foul monsters are entirely bound to the will of their creator, which can concentrate on a claw in sight to mentally command its every action. If the crawling claw's creator doesn't command it, the claw follows its last command to the best of its ability. Commands given to a crawling claw must be simple. A claw can't be tasked with finding and killing a particular person, because its limited senses and intelligence prevent it from tracking and picking out specific individuals. However, a command to kill all creatures in a particular locale works. A crawling claw can easily feel out the contours of keys and doorknobs, crawling from room to room on a blind killing spree. Malign Intelligence A crawling claw possesses a little of the intellect and memories of the individual of which it was once a living part. The hate, jealousy, or greed that drove that person to murder lingers on, however, amplified by the claw's torturous, fragmented state. Left to its own devices, a crawling claw imitates and recreates the same murderous acts it committed in life. Living Claws If a crawling claw is animated from the severed hand of a still living murderer, the ritual binds the claw to the murderer's soul. The disembodied hand can then return to its former limb, its undead flesh knitting to the living arm from which it was severed. Made whole again, the murderer acts as though the hand had never been severed and the ritual had never taken place. When the crawling claw separates again, the living body falls into a coma. Destroying the crawling claw while it is away from the body kills the murderer. However, killing the murderer has no effect on the crawling claw. Undead Nature 
A crawling claw doesn't require air, food, drink, or sleep. Makes you wonder what can be done with all those other murderous parts, doesn't it? Even Jaliza Levain, Necromancer. Alright, so here is my final product. First time drawing digital in a long time. I can definitely see some flaws with it. Well, actually here, let me go ahead and pull up my reference. There we go. So yeah. Uh, it's not a perfect copy. Uh, I got a few things off, but... Yeah, for the first time drawing in a while, I think I did alright. But definitely some areas where I need to improve at. Or at the very least, figure out how to hone what I've created to be more of my style, whatever that may be. But yeah, this is what I came up with. I spent roughly two hours working on it. I've definitely slowed down, but hopefully I can pick back up and get better as I go along. So yeah, th this was um, fun. It's definitely been a while since I didn't. <laughs> I am looking forward to do more things. I'm at least going to stick with some of the creatures I've used in games before. Just has something to work on towards. But let me know what you think. And if there's any particular monster you'd like to see in the future. Me attempting to draw. But for now, this is where I'm going to leave this one. I will pick up, hopefully, sometime soon with another one. So until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you for watching.